When it comes to power, accuracy, and good handling, the Spaz-12 is probably one of my favorite shotguns there is to be on the market. Of course, I understand we're talking about a video game, that being Ghost Recon. Today we'll be looking at the Spaz-12 shotgun. This is probably one of my favorite shotguns of any shotgun that's in this game. And of course, I had to go ahead and use the extended version of this uh, stock on the back of here just because that's just a better way I think this, this shotgun looks. When it was folded up, it looked like something else. And this is just basically all the stuff that goes into it. There's not a whole lot, but there actually is a something I wanted to touch on real quick. It's just this magazine. I mean, it looks like part of the barrel. It looks like an actual barrel, honestly. I just thought it was really unique to point that out. It's really cool looking to me. But with this shotgun, it's pretty much a done deal for the most part. Now, I will say I've had a very difficult time trying to get kills and staying alive with this thing. Now, that is probably mostly because when it comes to using this shotgun on you know a crowd of people it doesn't really do what it's supposed to now it can kill multiple targets with one shot but you have to make sure that they're lined up properly because if not you're going to go down just like right here i thought that spraying this thing would take people out quickly but it didn't happen that way now uni dead of course they wear body armor and it does really play an effect i don't know if it's because of the updates in this game but I thought that you know shooting these people once that close up would actually kill them and it did not so that's probably one of the downfalls of this shotgun just because you know and it might also be because of what I have attached or the fact that I don't have anything on here for real it's just you know as is and it's pretty much a basic shotgun but it's very powerful for what it is and it does take people out in one shot if all the circumstances are met and you're you know point blank and can clear a shot i mean even right here you guys see i'm kind of panic shooting and it's taking more than one hit to actually kill a person and like i said it also might do it also might be to do with the fact that i'm facing off against unidad and that like i said they do wear body armor so that might have a big effect on things especially now with all these updates that they've added to the game now in most games the spaz 12 is actually a very powerful shotgun and it normally takes one hit to kill a person but on this game it really just all depends on where you shoot the person as any gun on this game for the most part it seems that the chest to head area really will give you the one shot kill now even though this bullet spread is you know pretty all over the place you still gotta shoot somewhat up high in order to get a good uh, well oriented hit because otherwise, if you don't, you're going to end up having to shoot more than twice. I mean, like I said, Unidad was the only case where I had to shoot more than one bullet because they were body armor. I'm not sure if that really has much to do with, you know, the updates at all. And they just decided that body armor has more of an effect than what it did have. And whenever you have to deal with just regular cartel people, it's like it's a one hit kill for them. So, I mean, even right here, you guys can see. With a sniper, that's pretty much a headshot. So of course, that's a one-hit headshot. So, but in, in a minute, you guys will get to see that I used a shotgun on these people, and they pretty much died in one shot. I didn't have to take too much time killing these people. And you know, of course, using a shotgun, you'd much rather use this. To me, I would think third person, because you know, shotguns take a little bit longer to aim in, and they're a little bit harder to handle. Now, I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video that the shotgun is very good to handle, and it is. It's just when you're trying to be quick and like pull it up real fast, that's probably one of the things that will make you have to take a longer time to actually execute your kill and get yourself lined up. Because even right here, I was so unprepared. I didn't even see that guy move down here. I wasn't even watching the mini map. I just kind of started running aimlessly. And this guy was just all over me. You guys can see right here that it took more than one shot. He was up close. It took more than one shot to take that guy out. And that's just not something you would expect a shotgun to have to do. But that guy took one shot. So, you know, the guy down below actually had a body armor on. And this guy didn't. So, I don't know if they updated the game to where it was even more realistic than it was when it came out. Now, some people will probably argue and say that they can get a better use of this shotgun than I can. Now, I'm not the best with shotguns. I really don't use those in this game. I'm more of an assault rifle person, and I like to use my assault rifles in three-round bursts on games like this because of most of the time, you want to stay at a distance whenever you're taking on your targets just because it would make the situation a lot more useful for yourself. Now, of course, right here, long range, I pretty much got outshot because someone who was on a turret was able to outgun me, so... They basically got the better hand and they had that little box shield thing that goes along with that so that actually is also what helped them now 
of course this is of course more sniper footage not really the point here but you guys will get to see as well in a minute that people started to come up on me and i want to say it took me one shot but they were really just point blank and you guys can really see the usefulness of this thing and i tried my best to be really you know accurate with this sh shotgun and even though it's one of my favorite shotguns it can be difficult at times to use now you know people might be skeptical and say well you just don't know what you're doing well, it might be the case, but even right here, me and this guy killed each other. And like I said, this is one of the things that really can uh, point out the fact that this thing is hard and it takes a long time to pull this thing up to kill someone. Even if you are in third person, it still can take a minute to turn around and make sure you're you know, lined up to get your shot straight. So even though this thing has a bigger spread for it being a shotgun, it can still be very difficult to use whenever a person is trying to do be quick about their uh, uh, execution. So so to speak so just be mindful and i want to say there's an upgrade to where you can aim in a lot quicker i don't know if that has anything to do with like aiming in while in third person i do know it's more for guns with scopes on them i'm not really too sh keen on or too sure of it being for just zooming in on third person or third zooming in during third person so i'm just not totally positive that that's actually something that's a thing so That'll just be something I have to test out and whenever I do get that fully upgraded I'll probably pull in you know in third person with the weapon and pull in with the scope just to show the difference And I'll probably I should probably do that more often before I do the upgrade And I'll show you guys how useful that can be whenever you do upgrade that on the skill tree But I think I'm gonna cut it off here. That's pretty much it for this area now There is one thing I want to point out. There's this weapon right here that you can find it's another shotgun You can actually find in this area and just a second i'll actually pull back the map so you guys can see where this is this is just an outpost it doesn't have any specific name it's an outpost and it is in this region right here i'm pulling back just enough so you guys can see the region that it's in it's right here in the pn region here so that way you guys can actually who want to know where this weapon is you can find it but thank you all for watching this video if you all have enjoyed this episode then go ahead and rate that thumbs up button show your support and some, uh, go ahead and share this video for those of you who want to help me get the word out there as much as possible and as quick as possible and go ahead and subscribe for all you ghost recon wildland fans out there because of course there will be a lot more gameplay and more gun reviews coming your way and if there is any comments or questions or anything you would like to correct me on or even mention that I didn't go over then go ahead and say that down below in the comment section because as always I do enjoy communicating with my fans and just people in general I do enjoy social talking with other people being social with everybody and just you know making everybody feel good so for those of you who like doing that as well you know where I where to find me how to contact me down below in the comment section but on that note this has been your broadcast and unpredictable is